I just was not expecting this at all. This exceeds everything that I thought Vietnam would ever be. Good morning from Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City. I'm so excited to be here. Like I said last night, it just does not feel real. I'm really excited because we're about to explore the War Remnants Museum, which goes over the entire Vietnam War with the United States. So we thought we would pay our respects to the fallen people of the Vietnamese and, um, you know, take in what exactly happened here. Yeah, go there first, but first, breakfast. anything on the streets so we stopped by the Ian Don market which is a really big deal yeah it was okay. really good we got beef bones so this stuff is very very heavy we've learned a lot it's a very serious type of place but it's very well worth going to eye opening and written by so many different countries so I thought it was gonna be only one person's perspective and it's multiples yeah. And apparently a lot of the information that's here in this museum was given by the United States. So I think it's, yeah. interesting. it's very interesting. We've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about the Vietnam War and just seen so many terrible things. But it's, I think, been a very good stop on our way through Saigon. We're just learning. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was like a lot. Um, I didn't realize that the United States used Agent Orange so much. I mean, I heard the term, but I didn't know it was like, they sprayed like a 16th of the whole country. Yeah, and my dad told me about Agent Orange, yeah. how crazy it was, but. And defects are still being seen today. But it was also interesting that the U.S. was involved in the war, like, in the 50s. We didn't realize that it was that old. We thought it was something yeah. that was just the Vietnam War, the and there was no, like, of it precursor. All. Yeah. So, so we've learned a lot. Yeah. We really have. We didn't realize the whole backstory. And the length. It's like we, we yeah. had involvement for over 17, 20 years. Yeah, yeah, 17 plus years. Yeah. It's a lot. It was a lot to take in. I, we think this was a really great stop on our adventure here in Saigon. Yeah. But to like realize why yeah. the United States and Vietnam are not close partners and why we were kind of forbidden to come here for a long time, so. So it's not a pleasant story at all and we saw a lot of really terrible things, but. but it's one we needed to learn. Yes. Crazy. It's a mobile market. She carried this on her shoulder. The fire is pressing the waffles and then she puts them in plastic sacks and sells them. What happened? Bird poop got me, I uh -oh. think. That's good luck, right? Yeah. Uh, so what is this? What are we looking at? We did some research and there's just like this cool park that's in the middle of a traffic circle. And I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a very pretty park. in Texas there's a lot of like the same is it 70s is it 60s like architecture and I just like feel kind of right at home because a lot of this exists in my home city so it's, it's weird because I came here it's like all these different things but like this sharp edges like look you know what I'm talking about nope oh yeah 
bubblegum cotton candy bubblegum bubble gum, cotton candy foster time to cool off now we're going to the post office to send our grandma's postcard It feels so nostalgic right now. Like we're doing like people used to do when they're on long vacations or journeying across the ocean. Like I'm gonna write to my lover or loved ones. If you want to be the recipient of a postcard from a foreign destination, sign up on our Patreon page and support us. And this could be you. So it took a little of explaining, but so we got we got these Vietnamese postcard stamps. We have we need two for each postcard. We got six. Enough for six postcards. And so I was like, you can't like peel it or anything. So I was like, can I lick it? She was like, no, no, no. Dip in the water. We have just stepped into Beverly Hills. Like, where am I? Ugh, I'm just like so inspired. Like, it's so French. It is. We love it. It is so much more French than I would have ever thought. This is just not what I expected. I expected like, like a Bangkok, like back alley feel, like super undeveloped. There's no way they're gonna have like all this infrastructure or all these tall buildings or. I don't know, like not even this huge space. I, I just was not expecting this at all. This exceeds everything that I thought Vietnam would ever be. So this apartment complex got turned into like a bajillion different coffee and tea places. Look how cute it is. I am so excited right now. I'm an avid lover of this place. And we just found one. I was so excited, but it's four dollars, which is not not really in our budget. I told Leah she could only get tea if she was like gonna spend one. That's Price, but it's not our Vietnam price that we want. Okay, we're going. We're going. Ah! <laughs> so it has just been so peaceful, just sitting here taking in. This is not the Mekong, it's the what? Song Saigon. Song Saigon River, sorry about that. And it's just like so peaceful, and Leah said that she feels like she's in Seattle. I feel like I'm living my Pirates of the Caribbean dream because there's like coconuts floating up on this ramp that looks very, very old. So like the pirate ship could just like come and dock, I don't know. But super nice, super relaxing, and it's like a great day. It looked like pork and it was just like was looked so good. So then after we ate our first banh mi sandwich, we went out and we ordered another one and I made sure to point to what we wanted. We and we right got this it. Time. And we ate it too quickly to even video it. I've had this like pain in my shoulder for like a long time now. So we're gonna try and exercise. Right there, maybe I can get it out. 
She might be a little big. <laughs> the other girl's <laughs> legs are extended. His are halfway. And then like, because it's already 90 degrees outside. Doesn't matter if you sweat. No. Like, I've been sweating all day. And, like it doesn't feel bad. To all the hacky sackers out there who think you're really good, I got news for you. Ooh, back foot. So we made it to like another workout park that's like by the, what is it, bar district? Yeah. And it's full of people. It's like eight o'clock on a Saturday. They're playing Frisbee. Soccer. Uh, whatever that beanbag game that I just showed you. Like, I'm really confused. Badminton. Why, why don't we exercise in America on Saturday night? It's like, oh, let's watch Netflix, or like, do nothing, or like, go to the bar. Like, these people are exercising. Like, or parents just out with here children, out. and like, people running. It's Saturday night, people are just hanging out. I just, oh. well, like, Saturday night is late. I'm just, this is awesome. So that was amazing. Leah is such a trooper. She was tired at like four, and it's almost, it's nine o'clock now. So she did five hours more than we expected, and she didn't even have dinner. Like, I don't understand. Good job. Good job. Thank you. And like they put all the spices on it instead of us. Because the first one I put like chilies on it and then I bit into it and it like got inside my mouth and it still burns. So the second one was definitely get the shawarma one. He can't handle the heat. 